Jeremy Corbyn today will talk about a customs union, but not the customs union, a bespoke deal. He may raise the spectres of Switzerland and Norway without actually acknowledging fully that they're in the single market and he doesn't want to be. For reasons that remain fairly opaque, you have now a competition to see who can be most confused and confusing on issues that are neither confusing nor need to be confused. It's the highlight, the illustration, the absolute benchmark of bonkersness is highlighted by this. If we start from the premise that you have to pick one or the other, Labour or the Conservatives, right? And you don't, obviously. You could not vote or you could vote Lib Dem or if you live outside England, you've got a slightly broader range of votes. But if you want to cast your vote in hope of forming government, you're going to vote Labour or Conservative. If you campaigned to leave the European Union by citing at any point Norway or Switzerland as examples of what we could be like, then today you should be on Jeremy Corbyn's side. Today should be the day that you say we want Jeremy Corbyn. He's not offering you yet Norway or Switzerland, but he's offering customs union membership, which is a lot closer to Norway and Switzerland than anything that Theresa May has put in front of you yet. So you have, you know, big name campaigners who talked about absolutely nobody is talking about leaving the single market. Only a madman would talk about leaving the single market. We could be like Norway. We could be like Switzerland. Why don't we do it like that? Why don't we do it like this? Anybody in that campaign who argued or persuaded you that we were going to come out and be like them, they should today be cheerleading for Jeremy Corbyn. That's how mad things have become. So Daniel Hannan, theoretically, should be cheerleading for Jeremy Corbyn today. Anybody who mentioned continuing, continuing trading arrangements, they should be cheering for Jeremy Corbyn today. But they won't be, because he's Jeremy Corbyn. And also because he's offering up a, a slightly different flavoured porridge of nonsense.